Good evening. Well, it's my evening. Good day, I guess, to you if you're in the US. And uh, what is it? Good afternoon to you if you're in the EU. Welcome to this evening's chill stream. And in a chill mood, I am. Without wanting to sound like Yoda, I suppose. Here we are. You guys voted. And hello, Superfro, with your hairy kiwi fruit there. Good morning to you. It's uh, definitely morning. It's 1.09 a.m. actually for me. Uh, so that technically does make it morning, I guess. You guys voted, and overwhelmingly, you guys wanted to see... Well, you wanted to put yourself in the thick of it. You wanted to massacre your own feelings. You wanted to drag yourselves through the pain of me trying to ride a horse in Kingdom Come, right? I mean, I, geez, you guys, I think you're masochists, and you must be. Uh, but hey... It was clear winner. So, uh, welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Hello to you, Shazology, all the way from Singapore. Nice to see you here, by the way. Uh, Ildred, a big hello to you as well. Alicia, hello to you. How are you this fine morning? Um, hey, how do I send you a music clip for my own entrance music, says Shaz? That's a very good question. And I'll tell you how in a second. Uh, disaster piece. Hello, good morning, and good morning to you as well. Um, hello, Steph. How are you? Hey, do you know what? But and Super Fro, thank you so much for the host. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, by the way, thank let, you. let's get this loading in. By the way, because oh, should we just hit continue? Wait, what's that funny noise in the background there? Steph, Steph, what are you doing, woman? Steph, thank you so much. Thank you. you. What is it with you've used another fifty bits? Why have you done that? I thought you weren't going to have any any bits. <laughs> Until next month, I thought you said. Were you telling Porkies? You were telling Porkies, weren't you? That's what I think. Good Lord, what is going on, woman? Thank you so much for your support. Very much appreciate it, as you know. Uh, let's get this loading. I'm just going to hit continue. I can't remember where we were, but I'm going to assume continue will be okay. Uh, really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Shazology, what you do is you send... Like, it's got to be an MP3... Uh, so make sure that you, uh, whatever you do, you edit it up and convert it to MP3. Um, yep. Um, what is going on there? All these noises. Yeah, so convert it to MP3 and then send it to me. Easiest way is to send it via my Facebook page. Now, if you don't know where my Facebook page is, I'm going to curse at the moment, but I'm pointing down. So look down below and you'll see in one of those links down there, there's many links. One of them is my Facebook page, the Sambo NZ Facebook page. And um, you can. Let's, here we are. This is the. This is. Do you know what this music reminds me of? It reminds me of The Witcher Three, actually. To be completely honest, uh, it's kind of like Witcher Three music. This is called Beer and Woman, and it is from the Kingdom Come Deliverance soundtrack. Uh, I'm just going to load it all in. Sorry if you get motion sickness. Just like to cache all the things. Uh, plus, of course, we need to turn the music okay, up in here. Here we go. We are in service. Scientific we go. Confirm. Yes, thank you. By the way, we've got this gorgeous sound. Uh, resume. Thank you. Gorgeous sound of the water there. And look how smooth it's running these days, by the way. this It's like flying through. By the way, let me show you the frame rate. Let's turn that on. Confirm. Yes. There we are. So look at that. 60 frames, basically. Uh, uh, I'm really, really happy about that. Once it loads in its textures. And that's with some pretty high settings on as well. You can see we've got full reflections happening there. Uh, some really nice lighting, high textures, uh, and motion blur as well. So yeah, it's looking pretty good, and it's running pretty well. Now, as you guys know, of course, when I defocus it, though, it kind of pauses. So I do apologize for that. Um, so yeah, send it to my Facebook page via PM. And that means I can grab it and uh, pop it into a command. Now, again, if you guys are wanting to send me your own entrance music, it's no problem. Just make sure you keep it short, sort of five, ten seconds, and make sure it's nice and loud as well. I can always turn it down, but I can't turn it up. Uh, so make sure it's loud and make sure that it's not, um, you know, sexist, racist, homophobic, anything silly like that. And then, uh, yeah, away we go. So it's that simple. Give me a few days to do it, though, because I do get busy. Uh, so I can't do it immediately. Uh, does that answer your question, by the way, Shaz? I hope it does. Um, let's go back in here. There we go. Uh, I tried to dis... You watch that? You tried to Chromecast, but it says no playable quality. Ildred, what I've found 
sometimes is you've got to give it a little you've got to give it a moment or two to sort of catch up uh, and then see how it goes but if there are no twitch transcoding options then you'll never get it working and it's just a twitch thing it's just horrible um, so if you can see different quality settings down uh, in the down here down in the um, cog then you should be okay but just sometimes when the stream first starts up it just takes for a while for it to get the transcoding going so yeah check in a few minutes if that makes sense Steph says no I said I wouldn't have bits for two days oh you had to make sure my insurance went through it did so I bought bits you're a shocker you're an absolute shocker you know what you guys are right you're totally this you guys are right. thank you so much appreciate it Steph Super Pro, you're heading off to work soon. Oh no! I guess it's the morning for you guys, isn't it? Thought I'd pop in and say hello, chat, and hello, Sambo NZ. Uh, hello to you. It's me nodding, saying hello to you, Super Pro. It's so kind of you to make the effort to come and say hi before work. By the way, Super Pro, I wish you a great day at work. I presume it's your Friday there. Um. Uh, let me just check something. Here we go. Yep. Uh, presume it's your Friday. If so, that's everything to be joyous about. The weekend is arriving, and Fridays are always cool, I reckon, at work. Even if they're busy because you're sort of cramming to get deadline stuff, there's something about the atmosphere on a Friday, isn't there? You know what I mean? By the way, can you see that glitch up there, right where my cursor is? Interesting. Um, so, you know, Fridays always seem to go better, I reckon. Um, so have a good one, mate. Have a really good one. And uh, by the way, what are you going to be playing this weekend? Hey, Super Pro, I see you on the Xbox a lot. What are you going to play this weekend? In fact, that's my question for all of you guys. Um, is my first question of the day. And please tell me in chat. Either what are you going to be doing this weekend? Or if you're playing games, which titles are you thinking that you might have a crack at? Title or titles? Anything you've been wanting to attack? I mean, this weekend's a good weekend to do it, right? Uh, Shaz says, got it, we'll send it over soon. And no problemo at all, my friend. You send that on over. Uh, Steph said, I did cancel the tier 3 sub. When it's time, I'll resub with the tier 1. One, No problem at all. And that's most generous of you for doing that anyway, Steph. So thank you so much. And uh, you know what? Never feel bad. This, this is a message for all of you guys. And I'm sure it's the same for any streamer, not just me. Never feel bad about not renewing a sub like... People like me are just like people like you. We get it. We understand that you can't exactly keep something going because life changes, right? And priorities change. Uh, and I like to think of subs as a little donation. So, you know, if you sub one month, consider that a donation. And just uh, immediately cancel it if you want to. It's, it's like a neat way of giving me support. Um, and... Uh, by doing that, you're giving me, uh, obviously, money, but also it ups my sub points, uh, which mean a lot to me in the background, too, in terms of uh, my relationship with Twitch. So it's actually a great way to donate, and even if you do it once, you know. So mm, never feel bad about that. Um, and you don't owe me any explanations ever. You don't owe anybody any explanation about what you guys do with your own money, but uh, I love that you're all so transparent. Thank you so much. Uh, Disaster P says... Uh, oh, that code was for a mount? Yep, it's for a racing snail. That's right, with a flame paint job. It's awesome. Thanks again. You are more than welcome. And by the way, look at this. It started to rain in the beautiful lands of uh, KCD. Hey, lady. What's up? Um, oh, is this a new option? Ooh. Uh. Now, it's up to you guys, but... I reckon we either we either play glow stick exclamation point glow stick or exclamation point yeah baby I'll leave that up to you guys so whichever one plays first from you guys doing that that'll set the tone for our fancy little walk glow stick or yeah baby hey Rob Zob how are you buddy good to see you man good to see you thanks for stopping along Remy hello to you thank you for stopping along as well Appreciate seeing you guys. Harvest Moon Crazed. Hello, good morning, afternoon, evening, everybody. Oh, it's so good to see you. Haven't seen you for such a long time. And uh, hello to everyone coming along hello. today. Gosh, but, uh, a big turnout for this time of the day for me, 1.18 a.m. Always a pleasure to have you here, Harvest. We don't see you nearly enough. 
Uh, now I'm not complaining, by the way. Just saying that your presence is uh, always welcome. And I know you're going to think I'm being... Oh, it's a Titanic! Is that what we're going to... Is that the theme for the walk, Kyle Ice? <laughs> so it's a romantic little walk, is it? <laughs> Thank you for that, Kyle Ice. You've set the tone for uh, our little walk. We will do that in just a second. Um, oh, oh, Alicia, okay. Well, it's all coming out now. Yeah, baby. We'll, uh, we'll turn on our Barry White charms, shall we? We'll say, hey, hey, Teresa, baby. Fancy coming for a little walk, a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, baby. Well, we couldn't get any more diametrically opposed, I think. Kyle Ice with the <laughs> Titanic. And Alicia with the smooth Barry White moves. Uh, all we need now is someone to do the glow stick. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Oh! That's not a glow stick sound. That is the sound of a tier one sub. Thank you, thank you so much. We've got Gilgamesh the Wise sub hype. Woo! Thank you so much. That is very generous of you. Um, by the way, me talking about subs was not to generate subs. But there we go, we've got the sub hype happening. This is for you, Gilgamesh. Woo! If I had a character that could dance in game, we so would right now. Uh, in celebration of that, by the way, everybody gets points. There we go, 200 points. And guess what? Another 200 points. This is all your fault, Gilgamesh, all your fault. And another 200 points. Ooh, look at that. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Um, next time I'm in game, says Disaster Piece, I'll screenshot it and send you a pic of it. Uh, oh, yes, the mount. Please do. Please do. Um, thank you for that. And Harvest Moon Craze, you know what I'm going to ask, right? And don't don't take it the wrong way. Okay? I'm not suggesting that you should be in the kitchen. But I would like to know if you've done any baking. Only because you know I love your baking and you're very talented talking at it. about Betty's smile. <gasps> Who's doing the cry? Who did that? Steph, the one who says it's going to turn into the new universal, and she's the one spamming it. It's disgusting, isn't it? Oh, it's so funny. Um, you're going on a date with your girlfriend tomorrow, Remy. Wow, nice one. Now, are you going to be playing WoW well while you're out on the date? Perhaps, maybe, no? Uh, you know what, that sounds like something to look forward to for the weekend. How awesome, man. Uh, are you going to the movies or are you going out for dinner? What are you doing? Come on, come on, tell me. Um, got it, we'll send it over soon. Yep, lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, sorry, I'm catching up on uh, chat, by the way. Uh, la, 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 la. Here we go. Steph says, for the weekend, I'm going to be playing WoW and maybe play The Division on PS4. Oh, oh, oh. If you play Division, let me know, because I can play with you. And if it's at a stream time, maybe we can do a stream. I don't know. And speaking of tomorrow, I've got a big poll for you guys coming up too. Um, uh, Remy, again, thank you so much for the host. Um, thank you, Sambo. 720p works. Excellent. There you go. I'm glad that works, Eldred. Uh, the Chrome can be really, f the Chromecast thing can be really fussy. Uh, so you've got to do that. Uh, glad that that helped. Um, again, Gilgamesh the Wise, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Um, you guys know that, you know, you can actually use your tier one sub anywhere you like. Uh, same with the Prime. And uh, you guys choose to send it here. It's very humbling. So I very much appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, that really makes a difference. Gosh. Um, now, we've got some more things that came up here before uh, Steph started crying. Points are raining from the sky. Absolutely. In fact, Gilgamesh, you made it rain. You absolutely made it rain. Uh, try talking about bitties. Ildred! Ildred! What are you doing, man? With the 100? Seriously, thank you so much. Thank oh, you. Honestly, you guys, you know what you are, right? You know what you are. It's someone's Oh! Alicia. Gilgamesh, by the way, I've been very well. Thank you so much for asking. Been doing well. Uh, it's been a crazy day today. Absolutely bananas, bonkers, crazy day. Um, because I had job offers coming in left, right and centre all on one day. I think you guys... For the horn! You guys bought good luck upon me. Um, so there we go. Uh, Alicia, thank you so much for those bits. You know I appreciate it, right? Like uh, I... Oh no, that's Kyle Ice's new one. <laughs> ah, 
it's such a good thank try you. have you guys seen the, the video of that thank you it was for you there alicia thank you so much uh you guys totally totally you're gonna get sick of this song so you should stop donating um now remy i presume you're answering my question what are you doing uh with the date you're going both movie and dinner that sounds awesome may we inquire which movie you're going to are you going to see the new tomb raider movie perhaps has anyone here seen that by the way harvest um says oh the division oh oh harvest wait you don't have a ps4 do you or do you wait because i know you play division could the three of us play together i, I don't think we're all on the same platforms but let me know harvest what do you what have you got on i know you got it on pc do you have it on a console as well um uh did someone say biddies alicia god damn you guys seriously um you've got to become what's i what is i can, why can't i read that got to become is it sale sale time say oh i can't like you know what i shouldn't say that because steph's gonna say put your glasses on gotta become sultama oh oh you mean like the sultan like pj sultan i love this this is one of my favorite emotes that i'm going to spam in chat just now there we go i love that emote <laughs> not that i like being salty i never get salty right guys <coughs> Cough. um steph says we're still going to work on getting you partnered after you start working again oh you're so funny you yeah. do you know what i was thinking about that i think the big important thing is when i start working again yeah i won't be able to stream during my day and yeah i won't be able to stream every day but as long as i keep it consistent i think it's the main thing so i'll definitely stream at the normal time on a saturday so it'll be 1 p.m maybe on a sunday as well 1 p.m my time which is your evenings and then i'll do at least two or three evening so this time um throughout the week type thing so yeah um new lara croft is yes it's um um elite elite what's her name in fact i just finished watching a movie with her in it coincidentally the other day can't remember but she's amazing alicia not alicia i've got alicia on the brain uh, uh, it begins with a her name i'm sure it is yeah i uh, don't know what movie yet that's her choice oh good answer remy that's a good answer that's the right answer that is absolutely the correct answer um hello there the darkest who is all this darkest grim reaper hello to you going very well i'm excited look at this we've we have just by random come up to teresa here and uh basically i've asked chat to set the mood for this fancy little walk we've had everything from the titanic to uh, alicia getting uh she wants a bit of sexy time pretty sure of it uh she's like yeah baby yeah baby whereas if it was me right if it was me it's like hey do you fancy going for a, a beautiful no. walk out out <laughs> If, if you fancy going for a beautiful walk out in this beautiful lovely um nature you know i would um probably want it to sound more like this um because i think it's very romantic right <laughs> good afternoon crumpetus how are you Uh, I'm not nagging. I just want you to stay healthy. I know, but you, you know what? You'll, you've become my, I think, adopted mother. I think you look after me more than I do, I believe. Uh, do you Jimbra? Do you Jimbra? Do you even lift? That's right. Um, good name to have on the brain. Whatever, Alicia. Whatever. Whatever, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Uh, she says, yeah, lies. You'd think, yeah, baby, too. Maybe I would. I'd be like, hey, hey, tea baby, <laughs> right? Uh, cry is what she'll do. Shut up, shut up, woman. You don't know that. Um, do the mocking jay again, Remy. By the way, you can't do two at once. That's why if you ever do it a, a command and it doesn't work, it's just because there's probably another one playing. What are you up to? How would you like to? Um, I don't know. Uh, come for a walk. <laughs> a walk? I'd like that very much, but I can't right now. How? Give me some time to settle in. What? If that's what you want. It's uh, not you, Hal. Wh what? It's just this isn't a good time. It's not you, it's me. Excuse me, but has there been a better time for this one? <laughs> oh! 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 I need to go get the aloe vera and slap it everywhere because I've just had third degree burns. 
Holy shit, Mr. Burns. Ouch, the sun is burning. Oh, ho, ho, ho. well, you know what, you freaking mole. That's the last time I'm ever going to ask you on a date. You can go screw yourself, maggot. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I don't take rejection very well. Uh, anyway, uh, you lift Gilgamesh, do you? God, I, you know, well, I mean, I lift my arm when I'm drinking coffee. Does that count? Does that count? I, maybe not. Mm. Um, it's not you, it's me. I know Alicia, right? Like, she gave me every sick burn in the book, right? It's because you didn't embrace the yeah, baby. Okay, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Uh, I'd like to know, inquiring like minds. Know. Uh, oh, you can't. Maybe we need to just, you know, prime her up a little bit. You know, I mean, we've come in pretty full on. Uh, cold. Maybe we just need to get her to warm groovy. to us. Yeah, groovy. That's right. Let's be a bit more groovy. So let's ask some general questions like, uh, so baby, how do you like it in Ratai? So, how do you like it in Ratai? It's a big town with good strong walls, so I suppose we're safe here. And they took us in in our hour of need, but for how much longer? They'll grow tired of us soon enough. I'll never grow tired of you, baby. Why is that not a... I mean, come on, that's a natural response, right? Why is that not there? Uh, you lift, what, 60 and 100 on a... I don't even know what that means. Bench is 60 kilograms. You lost me. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not healthy, unfortunately. And yes, Ildred, I beat you to it, but great minds think alike, right? How are the Scallets folk getting on? They're alive. That's the main thing. They have shelter, but they're just scraping by. Rattay's citizens aren't happy the town is full of beggars who don't look like leaving any time soon. Well, just keep the positive spirit, why don't you, Mr. T? That's all. You use pounds. No, no, no. I don't use weights. Period. <laughs> but that was a good thing, Imperial versus me. I, I know. Yep, you're, you're giving me too much credit. Gilgamesh, go go way, way, way below the baseline. And then, hi, I'm here. <laughs> um, fatality, yeah, I, that was all over, wasn't it? It's all over. In fact, that whole interaction with Mrs. T was a major. <sighs> yeah, we'll just pretend that never happened. Right, okay, so what do we need to do? We've got the Awakening and the Good Thief. Error relationship error reboot required right Ildred ground lift is squats ah I know those I know what you're talking about uh, while I was unconscious my debt to the boo boo oh yeah okay pay all right let's have a look at the map I think it's probably easier for us come on map 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 me baby okay so oh Right, I, I, you know what, this dude has been wandering around left, right and centre. I'm going to go and talk to him, who or her. Because they keep moving and I keep seeing it and I'm going to get that quest. Uh, we are going to go over here and talk to Sir Radzig. Uh, that was a major objective of ours. And then we've got another one which is, oh wait, take to the, the ring to the middle. I hope that's not a freaking another example of the other day, right? Hey Starlix! Kia bro! Oh my god, I said I wanted to catch it live. Here I am! Uh, in celebration... In celebration of Starlix glow sticks, uh, more points for everybody. There we go. And welcome to 3.30am for Starlix, by the way, because he's from NZ. Uh, good to see you, my friend. Did you have a good night out? Are you pissed, bruh? Are you pissed? Did you drink lots of um, DB? Do they still make DB in New Zealand? Hallelujah! Some Dominion brown long necks and those brown long neck bottles in a wooden crate, bro. Are they still there? I'll check it out now. <laughs> um, uh, Gilgamesh says, I'll drag you to the gym with me, Sambo, and put a cage of spiders by. Don't you bloody dare. Good Lord. If you ever want to see me run fast, yeah, do that. That's for sure. Definitely do that. Uh, enjoy the points, folks. Steph says, is my being your second mother a compliment or an insult? It's a compliment, woman. It's a compliment. Good look. Your your um, caring powers are over 9,000. It's over 9,000. It's totally over 9,000. It's a compliment. Uh, and by the way, I am adopted. 
Um, just in case you wanted to know. Now, where, wait, 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 where is this? Okay, so we're going to go up the hill a bit. Um, how do I get my horse? Oh, that's right. That's right. I don't have one. I'll just walk then. Whatever. Oh, nice. Starlet is D A F, uh, which is awesome. Mute some, met some beautiful friend, uh, French girls, who I'm gonna meet to go to the zoo tomorrow for a good time. You know what? Kiwis, <laughs> kiwis and animals. That's all I'll say. Uh, if you need to go to the zoo, yeah, I mean, I, I may, I'm not judging, dude. You know, um, <laughs> man, that's awesome. I'm so pleased. But how cool is that, right? How cool is it when you meet some um, freaking awesome people and you just, out of the blue, decide to go do something together? It's the best thing ever. I'm so happy for you, man. That's great. To think you thought you were going to be holed up in a bed for the next nine months. How wrong were you? And how glad. To be wrong are you Starlux seriously um, I think of you and it makes me happy it really really does it truly does couldn't have worked out better could it good on you buddy enjoy tomorrow man be safe too um, well I'll write it in my memo then yes whatever Gilgamesh keep the spiders away from me um, <laughs> is it a paying job Steph that's a pain job is what it is Carl. It's pain um, Alicia says maybe it's too afraid could be could be Oh, Gilgamesh, we need the chopper. That's a good one. <gasps> Hello, darkness. I love this one. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, hello. Hello, hey. who are you? Hey. Bath. Oh, wait, who's got the quest? Whom has the quest? Let's put a, uh, a marker on there. Can I put a marker on there? I don't think it's you, is it? You don't have a quest, right? We'll just check. Uh, nope, you don't have it. Do you like my helmet, though? Pretty What's fetching that? helmet. Uh, you don't have a quest. God bless. Okay, God bless you too. Okay, where's the quest giver? If anyone sees me here, it'll be all over town tomorrow. Aha, uh -huh. what's going on here, what then? What are you gaping at? Have you paid? No? Then get lost. No, not you. What about you? God be with you. Well, you got out of the bath really quickly. Um, no, we don't want to fight for coin. Um, Steph says, I remember you telling hey, us that you were adopted that. a few years ago. That's right, I am. Like a stuffed squirrel all day. I'm not a stuffed squirrel. Um, for a bath. Shut up. My grandparents raised foster children and adopted a few of what the children that... Excuse me. Made. No. Um, and adopted a few of the children they raised. Really, Steph? I have people that I'm not related to, but call them my cousins because we grew up together. That is freaking awesome. Seriously, that is awesome. That's great. Um, I love being adopted, by the way. It's, it's not a thing I keep to myself. Um, 30 minutes on a treadmill. Got to go to the manual soon, so enjoy your steam, man. Oh, thank you, Gilgamesh. And, uh, by the way, see you later. Thank you for stopping by. Goodbye. And thank you for your support, man. I really do appreciate it. You know that, right? Have a good one. Um, Starlux says, I've been meaning to go visit the zoo for a while, and they were keen, so it would be awesome. Yeah, how cool would that be, man? That's so cool. I'm much more mentally aware, so I'm always careful when I'm drinking as to um, not further injure it. Yeah, nice one. Nice one. Yeah, be, be careful, man. That would be um, kind of ironic and funny and tragic all at the same time if you got drunk and broke it again or something. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like don't. Just don't. Um, okay, where's the quest giver, guys? Am I being a dick? Or do you reckon that the quest giver... Oh, it's an activity giver. Do you reckon it was the punch-up dude? I reckon it might have been the punch-up dude. Maybe we don't need to do that. All right, let's talk to the bath lady. Bath lady. Oh, my God, I'm bionic. That's what she'll notice when she bathes me, baby. Um, what? I want an actual... I want the, I want the full service thing. 
Is it, is it her? Oh my god, they're standing inside each other. No, not you. Ah, here we go. This is the one I'd I want. like to uh, order something here. You've added a new so level. What are you interested Speech. In? All right. Oh look, 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 look. Oh, oh, guys, help me here. Help me here. We've got a bath, launder my clothes, and heal my wounds. Sounds very clean, uh, and, and and close to godliness. Uh, to have a bath and launder my garments. So no healing of the wounds. I'm guessing. Uh, First Starlix. cheer at 3 a.m. Got to tick it off less than 3. You're, you're so funny, Starlix. Thank, Thank you, you, buddy. That's classic. At 3 a.m. cheer. Do you know it's actually 3.39 a.m. for you? It's getting late, my young man. Thank you. Thank you so much for the bits. Um, by the way, Starlix, did you see... Did you see my tweet? My tweet was for you. Uh, I went and ordered the coffee at Starbucks, and I said, "They said, what's your name?" And I said, "Starlix26." <laughs> and she looked at me with, and you know, when when you see a um, a person who does customer service freeze their smile on their face, right? So it just freezes in the smile, and you can see their brain going click, 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 click. Did he just say so? And she went, "I'm sorry, I didn't catch that," and leant forward, and I said, "Starlix26," and she goes. Rightio, and she just literally put the cup back down and gave it to the to the um, barista. They never wrote a name because obviously she was like, I don't know what to do in this situation. I'll just pretend it didn't happen. So you didn't get your name on a cup, dude. But I asked, okay. Um, I saw the tweet. Apparently they didn't like the name. Exactly right. Exactly. Judgment these days, am I right? Exactly. I think the numbers maybe, you know, I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, what are we doing, guys? Are we doing a full launder, heal wounds and bath? Are we just going to have a bath and, and wash the clothes? Uh, do we just want to heal the wounds? Or, or heck yeah. Uh, Rip Starlix's dream of having their name on a cup. I know, Crumpet is right. Shattered. Shattered. Yeah, you work in customer service. I would have put that on there in a hut. Same here, dude. Same here. Yeah, it's pretty funny, though, isn't it? Um... She was just obviously going... I, actually, what I think was in her mind was, this guy's a freaking weirdo. I just keep smiling. And go, it's just pretend that didn't happen. Uh, next, you know, like just... Yeah. Number one. So, Steph wants... Steph? Stethoscope. Steph wants number one. Uh, are you sure? I, I know. I know. There's Ildred's answer. He wants to pay for a wench. And wink, wink, nudge, nudge, everything that goes with that. Because let's face it, we know what Alicia wants. Don't we, Alicia? Okay, and it's not to heal your wounds. It's to pay for a wench and everything that goes with that. The full service. Right, Alicia glow stick? <laughs> Ildred wants number four. It was obvious. Uh, no, uh, it's what you want. Oh, don't give me that line. Don't give me that line. Look, one of us has to decide now because Steph has said number one and completely opposite to Steph, Ildred has said number four. So we need one more person here to decide. Number four. Thank you, Stalix. Done. I've uh, heard you have nice girls here. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Oh, wait. What? Money? <gasps> <gasps> wait. What does that mean? Does that mean I've... Got for wait, how does I've never seen this interface before. How does this work? I don't understand. <laughs> Who's this? This is a pro provision. Is it provision? The provisions. I am so terrible at Leet Speak, but first of all, thank you so much for the sub. There's some sub hype because everything goes better with guile music from Street Fighter 2. Sub hype! We've got the provisions with the prime sub. Thank you so much, my friend. That is awesome. Uh, just like Oblivion says, Starlix, that's right. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, 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 right, gotcha. That means you're paying for a prostitute. Shut up, Steph. Shh. We need to speak it out loud. Um, haggle them down. Uh, but thank you so much for the provisions. I really appreciate that. Uh, like the cheese. The, oh, the provolone. 
I am so the Provolone. I'm so sorry. I'm t- I terrible. Like someone will say to me, look at this, and I'll go one three three seven. That's great. Tumbleweed. Whereas it's like, no, that's actually leet, right? Um. So thank you, dude. You could spend that prime sub absolutely anywhere, and you chose to spend it here with us. Uh, that is freaking awesome. Thank you. It makes a massive difference to me. Very much appreciate it. Thank you, the Provolone. Do, do, do I say it? I'm probably mispronouncing it too. But yeah, uh, by the way, I bought some cheese tonight in the city. I can't wait to go have a cheese sandwich later. Uh, so stop making me think about it. Uh, Alicia says, I think it's saying you have 18 and it costs 40. That's what I reckon too. Um, hey there, Keep Late Nation. Firstly, thank you so much for the host, dude. What's thank happening? You. Um, you guys are the best. You totally are. Thank you so much for your support this evening. All of you. Uh, Steph says, hey, I say it like it is. Straight talk, right? Straight talk. Pick some flowers and sell them to get that silver. Really? Really, Ildred? Actually, I've already got flowers in my uh, thing. Now, what if we try? I'm going to try haggling. I'm not giving you that much. I've never and done how haggling. how much are you willing to pay? 30 cents. Okay, here's our first haggle. Haggling works both ways. Whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. Uh, you select the amount you want to pay or get, W and S, and confirm with E. The trader will then respond to your offer. If the answer is refused, he or she will make a counter offer and wait for your response. Okay. So our money is 150. Oh, well then how come it's gone red? The original purchase price is 20. Trader's offer is 10. Your current offer 2. Your last offer accepted by the trader. Okay. If this... Oh no, that's not my real money. Right. If the slider can't be moved in one direction or the other, it means either you or the trader does not have enough money. Ah, so we'll soon find out. Dragging out the haggling with one offer after another will gradually try the trader's patience and eventually they'll drop the haggling completely. Oh, right, okay. Uh, You can see how close you're getting to that point from the trader icon below the bar. The more gold there is in the background, the closer the trader is to dropping the haggling. Right, so we can't let that build up. Every unsuccessful bout of haggling lowers your reputation with the trade. Oh, jeez. There's freaking consequences? Seriously? Um, haggle. Haggle, it can hurt. Can't hurt to try it. Yeah, I'll try, Remy. Definitely. Uh, keep up the great work. Thank you. Enjoy your fuzzy kiwi fruit there, by the way. Probably on there. <laughs> uh, that's just an example. Don't, yeah, no, I think you're right. Got excited there for a minute. Okay, here we go. So I have 18.5. Uh, she wants 40. So uh, I'm shit. Okay, uh, right. So the maximum I could pay is that. Well, okay. Let's talk trade. Let me sell some flowers. Let's do that. Sell. What can we sell here? Where's the money, by the way? Is that the price? Okay. Leroy Um. Is that what? How you? Is that how you suggest, Ildred, that I go into the bath, bathhouse? <laughs> um. Okay. What can we sell? Do we really care about these? Like moonshine and and spirits. Oh, we'll burn away all spiritual and physical woes. Well, 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 well. Um, I don't have enough. I've got nowhere near enough money for that, have I? Damn. That traffic jam hurts my motor to go so slow. Ah. Oh, well, we just have I'm to... interested in your uh, services. So what are you interested in? Yeah, apparently it can hurt to try. Um, let's just heal the... What about a, a bath and launder my garments? What about that? How much does that cost? Get myself fixed up a bit. Have a bath and get my clothes washed. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Oh, okay. Uh, can we haggle? I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? Look, I'm a fair person. No! What about this? <gasps> well now, a little more and we'll shake on it. Sure. You won't regret spending the money, I guarantee awesome. it. Awesome! I've never done this before in the game. <laughs> wow. 
Wait. Well, that's it. Did it just happen? What, so I don't get any Witcher 3 style sexy time? I mean, she was only washing my clothes and tending my wounds, but still. Okay, fine then. Um, disaster piece says, uh, my cat is sitting right in front of my monitor watching you stand by. Hi, pussycat! Hi, pussycat! I wish I could dangle something for him. Um, um, oh, well, hey, what's up here? Can we go? Oh. Lockpick. Okay, no. Uh, yeah, if I could dangle something on the screen, especially for your cat, I would. Uh, what's your cat's name, if you don't mind? Um, yeah, obviously, Ildred. Leroy! Hello there, Talon! How are you? Good to see you, by the way. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, nice indeed. Nice indeed. Hello, hello. Hello to everyone who's joined us, hello. by the way. Um, yeah, I know, right, Crumpetus? What a letdown. What a freaking letdown. You have two Gizmo and Grim. You are joking, disaster piece. Uh, one of a one of my ex colleagues, a dear friend of mine, her cat is Gizzy, which is short for Gizmo. So there you go. How funny is that? All right, let's actually do something, shall we? Uh, we don't care about him. Uh, we can go into there. How do I get in there? I guess we go up the road, right? Go up the road. Why am I puffing? It's a bit weird. I haven't done any running. I mean, I have now. Look at this game. Isn't it gorgeous? So you can see the sun's about to set. What's the time? Um, I've, I've discovered, too, that there's a clock uh, here. So apparently it's 8.20. There we go. Now, I don't have any... Oh, I've got some points. I've got some points. Holy shit. Um, okay. Uh, what do we got here? Let's have a look. We should put some... You bleed slower. Um... Mm, mm, sprint speed, don't care about that. Let's do the bleed slower. I like that. Yes, thanks. Lovely. Uh, and we've got one in speech. This is cool. Okay, now what do we got here? Final offer. When a trader loses patience with you during haggling, you get one more chance. Okay, so that's like a, a, a save. Increases your speech level by plus three when talking to nobles and wealthy people. You can't have the lowborn perk though. What's the lower? Uh, your speech stat will raise by three when you talk to commoners. I don't generally like those ones because I want to use them both. You know, um, maybe we'll wait. Um, you'll see your counterpart stats and skill checks. Yeah, I like that. Increases your speech. Yeah, see these ones are better. So I'm actually going to wait. I don't want to waste a uh, a point on those. I don't think anyway. Um, skills. We haven't got any other points, though, do we? Not that I'm aware of. All right. Um, it's Gizmo watching. Hi, Gizmo. <coughs> hello, Gizmo. Gizmo, Gizmo. Puss, 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 puss. Hello. Look. Hi, Gizmo. Hello. Um, Alicia says, I have a kitty, too, but he's not watching. He's sleeping right now. What's his name? If you don't mind asking. And Ildred says, I'm babysitting two dogs. What is it with you guys and the pets? I'm babysitting two dogs this weekend. That's cool. What kind of dogs are they, Ildred? Mm, I don't care about that. I miss my cat. I wish I could take her to uni. Oh, Starlux. Yeah, hey, at least uh, she came back. Or he. I can't remember now. Uh, but I told you they would, right? I told you they would. They just get a bit weird sometimes. Hey. God almighty. God almighty yourself. Um, oh, Duncan. What a cool name for a cat. And uh, did you name your cat Duncan because it's definitely a Duncan? You discovered a fast travel point. Woohoo! Does that mean it shows up on the map now? It does. Well, hello. Sweet. Uh, my papa is a corgi called Winston. What is... You guys have the best names. He's the most friendly, excitable animal you'll ever meet. That's so cool, Crumpetus. Uh, not Winston after oh, Overwatch. Who are you and where are you going? Hello. I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of the Voyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? Ah, so here's where my speech counts, right? Um, Starlick says, yeah, was so happy when she came back. Was so worried about her, of course. You know what, dude? We've all been there. We've all had cats that take off. They just, sometimes they just get it. I don't think anyone really knows what they do. Because uh, it's not like they're nesting or anything. They just, they just piss off. They're like, hey, human? Yeah, need my space, dude. So, uh, chill, baby, baby, chill, baby, baby, wait. And I'll be back in a few days. 
P.S. Don't follow me. Thanks. You know what I mean? That's cats, right? That's cats. It's like, hey, human, feed me now. All right, now leave me alone. Goodbye. I have no further use for you for a couple of days. Goodbye. Um, okay, which one is the best for us? Uh, we're highest in... I can't remember what these symbols mean, but we're highest in that one. So let's try that. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. Fail! Bugger off. Shit. Uh, okay. I may not look the part, but I know about honour and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Booyah! Booyah! Can we get an MLG or a Hecky or a drop the bass, please? Because I feel I deserve it. Just, you know. I'm just awesome with my speech. <clears throat> and humble. Ooh, our first time in here. Ooh, you discovered a camp. What the hell's a camp? Camping. In the Middle Ages, countries were constantly being crossed by marauding groups of soldiers. Oh, so it's actually his tells you like the real life history about camping in tents. Isn't that cool? Damn, son. Damn, son. Thank you, Starlux. You're speaking my language, bruh. Uh, Seth says, I remember Minnie saying she put her cat on a diet. What? The cat went psycho and started attacking her. That's both funny and disturbing at the same time. That's, that's bizarre. You put a cat on a diet? Jesus. Um, Eldred says one is a Norobotan Spitz. <laughs> the other is a. I'm waiting for the. If that one was the easy one, what's the other one? Uh, Disaster Beast says if you permit me, I can post a pic of him uh, watching. Just put it on Imja. Oh, sweet. Yeah, on, let me. Um, sorry, I just lost focus of the game there, but I'm just going to permit you. Uh, no problem at all. Uh, Wait, why did I? Okay, I just got the wrong bit. <laughs> there you go. Post that link. Um, the vet said he was too fat. That's so funny. That's hilarious. Um, okay. So where's the camp? Can we? Can we actually? Sorry about the hitching. I'm a good Christian. Thank you. Hey, Adam. What's up? How? What are you doing here? I, I took you for dead. Oh, it's a long story. But what about you? How did you get out of Scalitz? You wouldn't believe it. A frightful storm broke that night and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Sir Radzig would use the storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away as quiet as mice while no one watched. In the morning, when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. I wish I could have seen their faces. Huh. <laughs> so do I. You tricked them nicely. See you later. Sigismund took everything I had. The godless beast. Have some compassion. Should we pickpocket her? <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Um, Alright, let me have a look at this link. Disaster piece. I'm just going to click on that and open it up now. Excuse me one moment. Loading, loading, loading. Oh, hello. Hello. Aren't you cute? Oh, she's so cute. Oh, no. Let me, uh, there you go. I hearted that for you uh, with my Sambo NZ account there. Nice work. I like that. That's so cute. Um, right. Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was an account of our silver and how Sir Radzik sides with the king. Um, what? He's been there for ten how minutes. life in rat eye suit you? <laughs> I suppose it was kind of them to take us in. But then they just left. Okay, so you're not going to tell us it. But you don't want money. Even though you look like now, how do we work these? Humph, humph. How do we work these camps? Like, what? What actually is the camp? Hmm. Hi. What is it? Get out of my way. 
Uh, what's the... Is this a camp? Whoa. Hang on. And the music in this game rocks, seriously. Alright. What is... This looks like a bit of a slum area, doesn't it? And it's rank. God, imagine living back in these days if this was you. Like, isn't it shocker? It's a razorback pig, by the way. So, oh wait, are we... I don't know where we are. But there's nobody here. Alright, fine. No worries, Crumpetus. We can be your background entertainment. Alright, now I need to find whom. I need to find... Okay, I need to go around the road. Uh, that's not... Is it up there? Yeah, I think so. Uh, that's a good idea if you ask me, Starlix. Probably going to jump in bed. Glad I could catch a chill stream. Thanks for trying to get uh, a Starbucks with Starlix. <laughs> Made my night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, and congrats again on the job offers. Super happy for you. Seriously, dude, thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Uh, thank and, you. And uh, it sounds to me like you're going to go to bed with a nice smile on your face. You've got lots to look forward to tomorrow uh, with your Zoom Goodbye. trip there. So I hope you have an awesome time, man. I really, really do. Thank you for your support. And good night. Oh, we can just open that. Nothing to steal. Oh, hang on. Oh. Now, does that... Oh, it does say steal. Okay, we better not do that then. That be the smith's son, Hal. On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Hmm. Uh, one moment. Now, I keep forgetting too. I think I've got... Yeah, I've got the cutscene thing. I keep forgetting about that. Right. Um. I'm here to see Sir Radzik. I'm going to speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. No, oh, it's nice. I thought they'd give me some, some resistance. Um, Ildred says, looks a bit like beagle but i think it's a separate breed mainly used to hunt rabbits oh wow how interesting um what are those dogs that were bred to hunt rabbits there's a special name for them anyway uh now what's uh, man look at the lighting here at night in the rain god it's really atmospheric isn't it this game absolutely crazy bonkers atmospheric god be with you and another thing um Have you heard anything about those savages who attacked us? I heard they're called Cubans. Sigismund brought them here from Hungary. By all accounts, we got off lightly. They say in other places they impaled people on spikes, skinned them alive, and even worse, fucking heathen swine. Yuck. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, yep. Now. Is it straight ahead? I don't know if it's up what? the stairs or what in here. What the hell are you doing? You said I could go in. Uh, Lockpick very hard. Okay, it's not there. I guess because they're guarding the actual stair. Uh, that might be a big clue, right? I should have my torch out as well. Hi. Don't mind me. I've just got a live flame. Are you serious? Are you serious? Set my ear on fire. You set my ear on fire, mate. Yeah. Right. Uh, 
G'day. Ooh. Must be in the right place. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Well then. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Rate, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Pirkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. Well, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the King neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others, listen to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. 
sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour. And a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. A woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. Ooh. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So... You'd like to enter my service. Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear, you're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Wow, isn't it? The story's so cool. It's amazing. It's really well voice acted too, for the most part, I think. Uh, idea for a new sound. Are you serious? From, from this game. Yes, that's a great idea. You learned Sir Hanush, Hanush of Lipa. Uh, so these are all real people, aren't they? I think. Pretty sure they are. Uh, reminds me of McEnroe's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, tell me. You cannot be serious when playing tennis. Yeah, that dates me a bit. I remember watching that as a child, actually. Good Lord. And he used to slam his racket down on the court, go up and argue with the umpire. What a classic. G'day, Doc. How are you, sir? Good to see you there. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, right, what do we do now? <coughs> Quest completed, awakening. Uh, feudal... God, there's so much cool stuff here, isn't there? If you didn't know about any of these things as a player, um, you get to see... Like, find out heaps of, um, history, I suppose. Doing good, <coughs> glad to hear it. Alright, let's wait and see what it gives us next. Train hard, fight easy. So Redzik wants me to undertake training with his captain, and he was really happy about that. Not. Uh, he has a reputation for being gruff, and I'm not sure whether he'll be too happy about Sir Redzik taking me, a mere blacksmith's son, into his service. Go to the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. Uh, upper castle in Ratai. He's normally there from mid-morning until evening. Oh, so there's timed stuff in this game as well. Interesting. You just waking up, Doc? Geez, all right for some. It's uh, two fifteen here in uh, Aussie. I'm not going to last too long because I'm super tired today. But I did just want to do a little bit of this and spend some time with you guys, of course. 
Uh, okay, let's have a look and see where that is, shall we? Is that it? Wow, okay, so we've got all these places to discover. Oh, God. That's actually quite big, isn't what it? Is hey, it? by the way, there was a star, I noticed. Um, I think what we might do is, of course, we can um, accelerate time, don't forget. If we wish. Uh, and what are our stats? Our nourishment. Uh, we can have a little bit of noms, I think. Just a wee bit of noms. Nourishment 92. Now, my past experiences tell me that is more than enough. It's more than enough. Otherwise, we'll be piggy piggy. You know what I mean? I wish there was a mini map in this game. I really do. Um, okay, we need to go around these buildings. Good evening, sir. Good to see you. Nothing to see here. Move along. So we've discovered a grindstone. We're in a private area. I'm guessing this is someone's house. Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a perv. A beggar. Yeah, I like I'm going to talk to a beggar. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, what was that? Sleep and save. Oh! Well, yeah, that's a good way to pass the time and save the game, right? Sleep in the middle of a chicken house. Um, uh, what time is it? Two, three, four. So let's say five hours, which means daylight, I hope. Oh, God, the screen moved again. Oh. By the way, this game patched today. Um, but whatever this bug is that makes the whole window move is very annoying. Very annoying. Oh, excuse me. Oh, dear. Uh, and I can't do anything about it until it's finished this. And I can bring up a menu, I've discovered. Game saved. Sweet. Alright, bring up a menu. Thank you. Now I can move the game window. There we go. Lovely. Um, I've heard of this game, never seen it though. Kind of reminds me of Skyrim. Yeah, it's um, there's no fantasy in it though. It's it's sort of a realism game, so there's no magic, but it is deep, man. Uh, watch a couple of the old vods if you've got a moment, because it is so good, and the story is just incredible. Uh, we're gonna go around, around the outside. A weaponsmith, eh? Cool. And forgive the hitching, it's just we're in a new town, so whenever there's new stuff, um, it kind of... It's my hard drive, you know. Um, it, it has to load it in, I guess. Ah, oh, wait, that was the... Ah! Oh, so I could have walked right through. Interesting. There's the grindstone. Now, uh, is that our sword that we've got? Yes. Now, this is a mini game that I don't know about yet. Um, so we're going to have to use the old help. Oh my god. If you want to maintain a bladed weapon, yes we do. You can save your repair kit and hone it yourself on a grindstone, which you can find at every smithy. Just approach it, start the process with E, and select from the list which weapon you want to hone. Weapon must be honed along the whole length of the blade, which is your mouse. Okay. The blade must be held at the correct angle to the grindstone. If the angle is too shallow, the edge won't be sharpening. If it's too steep, you'll blunt it, basically. You can control the angle using up and down. You have to keep the grindstone turning with space bar. Oh, God, this is going to be a disaster, isn't it? Uh, you must also exert the correct pressure to make sure you hone the edge at all. Pressing also depletes your stamina. To press, use... Oh, God, it's mouse wheel. You can recognize correct honing by flying sparks, whereas black smoke tells you that you're damaging it. Holy shit, this is going to not end well, I think. At least we just saved, right? So if I perk it up, uh, we can load again. Uh, I made a Blood Elf Warlock on Thrall today. Cool. Oh, oh, that reminds me. That reminds me of something. Hang on. Merchants usually start work around 9 a.m. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it was Ildred with the good advice there. Too many moving parts, if you ask me. Yeah, it definitely seems that way, doesn't it? Okay, so... Oh, oh, God! 
Okay, so that's the angle. That's forward and backwards on the mouse. Left and right is that. That's cool. More pressure, less pressure. Okay, holy shit. Man, that is really cool, actually. That is actually really cool. Um, oh, is, is there, do you think, an indication somehow of just how mm, how sharp it is or something? Like, how do you, how do I, Ildred, you seem to be an expert there. Um, uh, is Thrall where we are making a Horde Guild? Apparently, Alicia. Is that right? I, I don't know. I wanted to ask you guys that. And speaking of that, let me run this poll now uh, because there's tomorrow. Now, I'm going to pay you in advance. Here you go. Here's 200 points to you guys. Uh, I've got a big poll. So, um, and don't worry, you're not going to miss anything much in game. We're just going to have a bit of a look around and then we'll go to the training range. There are 11 options here. Are you, I want you to vote for tomorrow's stream. Now, the difference with this vote is that you can actually multi-vote if you wish. Now, I've got the timer set for 15 minutes, and you may wish to copy and paste the voting numbers into Notepad because there's 11 of them. But I'd really like you guys to vote, like say multiple vote if you like, uh, on what we're going to stream tomorrow because I have no idea. So there you go. So I recommend that you copy and paste that. Copy and paste that so you know which game you're voting for. So copy and paste that into Notepad, whether you're on your phone or on a PC. Um, oh, Ildred, it's the condition, is it? Great. Let's have a look. Where's the condition? Oh, so 84%. Okay, cool. So hang on. Let me, let me actually literally try. Um, like that. Eighty-four percent. Okay, so let's get the. Uh, so I'm gonna increase the pressure a bit. Now, of course, I don't know if I made it worse or better. Uh, condition ninety-seven percent. Oh hell yeah! Oh, God, yeah, that was some MLG grinding, baby. Damn, son. Damn. Okay, that was really fun. And by the way, uh, I watched a friend of mine do crafting. A uh, friend of mine do crafting, and, man, we're going to have a whole episode dedicated to that. Now, how does this work? What is this? Uh, also, uh, Fifi's bloody you can dream you can clean oh if it's bloody you can clean that off with a grindstone yes i saw co carnage do that actually uh, you're absolutely right you're absolutely right um i've seen someone do this forge as well but i'm presuming that's later because i can't get anywhere oh wait is it over there uh, uh, uh. is it that how do you use the forge hey kitty meow 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 um you just uh, missed out on me grinding, kitty. Just saying. Uh, and our condition improved. Alright, so at least I must be pretty clean, right? Discovered an armorer. Swordsmiths. Okay, so where is the armorer? Where is the armorer? Can't open the door. You're a professional lurker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't it look awesome this game? Uh, and you missed him being turned down with the good old, it's not you, it's me. Oh, Alicia, you did have to bring that up, didn't you? Uh, what is, oh, is this the armor or? Oh, wait, wait. You said nine o'clock, right? What's the time? Okay, so let's sleep. Uh, no, let's skip, not sleep. Skip time till nine. There we go. Yeah, I'm loving this game. Probably about ten times more than Skyrim. 
Skyrim, I never bought into it in the in the beginning, and that's no reflection on the game or anyone that does love it. I mean, I've spent about, you know, off stream, I've spent about 200 hours in it, I suppose. It's just, it, it's, it's another Bethesda game. Like, I can't think of Bethesda games as anything but just a different skin from their last game. You know, like Fallout 4 and Skyrim are exactly the same. They just got different different skin basically I mean, but mechanically it's the same thing you know Hang on, I'm just gonna move my screen um, didn't think they managed to add forging into the game could be wrong oh I've seen someone use those bellows and stuff I'm sure of it could be thinking of another game though Eldred it is late who knows of course I did says Alicia now that I might have missed there you go there you go um did you catch the vote by the way work 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 did you catch the vote, Kitty? Um, if in case you didn't, we've got a poll going at the moment for tomorrow, and I'll just copy and paste the options for you into chat because there is a lot of them. There you go. Um, yeah, you never got into Skyrim either. Yeah, I just yeah. I mean, it looks there's some beautiful moments I've spent in there for sure. Oh, thank you for that, by the way. I didn't know it was 9 a.m. I would have that would have bugged me. Oh, look in there. This is the difference, though. It's like there's actually things there to buy. Mm, that's so cool. Looks a bit like Ashbringer. Hello. Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus Christ be praised. Um, so yeah, it's not like Skyrim at all, who, whoever mentioned that before. Um, and it's way more immersive. Like you, th This is the first time in a long time in an RPG where I have felt like I am the dude. Like I am Henry. Like the... the the immersiveness of it is just insane and the story has really got me hooked whereas with other rpgs like witcher skyrim um you know like i'm saying fallout dragon age especially inquisition i feel like i'm playing an rpg game which i don't mind like i love the thought of playing an rpg game it's like playing D, &D right like you're playing a game and that's totally fine but this game makes you feel like you're henry it's freaking awesome so yeah <coughs> highly recommended uh right so what's this so oh so that's a three percent is this the condition as well basically oh wait what's that one can we repair that let's find out can't repair such a okay that's good i'm glad to hear about that uh can't repair such a badly damaged holy shit so how do i heal those then ildred uh, you pay three, and this one can't repair. Okay, yep. So close the deal. Hmm. Yeah, Ildred, you can uh, be a bit more careful. Vote multi ones. Uh, this is a multi vote. This one. All right. Be a bit more careful. Shut up. Alright, let's see where I am. Right, we need to get to our quest area. Uh, oh, there's a quest giver. Okay, let's go out here. Here is the Storm makes me think of the song uh, Riders on the Storm, which makes me think of Need for Speed 2. As in Need for Speed um, Underground 2, sorry. Uh, merchants? You call, where's the merchant? Was that a merchant there? No, it was a townswoman. Uh, why did it pop up a dialogue about merch oh is that a merchant maybe yes <laughs> so you don't want to deal with me mole what have you got uh, bread milk honey a sweet sweet lemonade <laughs> um I don't think we need any food do we we've got plenty oh I've even got a sweet pancake nice God, see, even just this one town, right? I'm gonna enjoy spend. Look how many things there are to do in this town, and how big it is. And this is just the first town we've come across. It's just this, which looked like a small thing, right? Um, uh, yeah, small thing. I mean, oh my God, this game is massive. Uh, so, is there an official horde server for the guild? Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that's what I was trying to find out. Um, yeah, let's find that out. 
because well and the reason that's what reminded me of the vote because one of them is playing wow horde tomorrow so yeah steph and kitty and alicia what do you think i think the options are we either do it on thrall because we've got a whole bunch of alliance characters there um we do it on blackrock you guys don't really like the idea of that i think and that's totally cool by the way uh, i should discover oh well i guess if there's question marks i can explore them later i need to go to the star let's go to the star i'm just going to mark that there um or we could do it on moon guard because it's a highly populated area and there's pros and cons for all of those things but what would you prefer not a fan of pvp cool well, i reckon automatically we've uh, reduced it down to two options which is either moon guard because it's highly populated or thrall because we've got a bunch of alliance characters there i suppose oh a baker good morning i'd like to uh, steal all your wares god bless so you've got the same okay that's good to know good to know that they share a, a loot table i guess uh talent says my thrall account is on hold been playing on an eu server right yep no problem uh what were you saying ildra before i missed it you can use kits to repair what, armor what and the hell are you doing are you walked into me goober uh repair armor on clothes and boots and weapons but only if they're about 80 percent. so the one with the red cross i'm sure means it's completely screwed what do i do with that just throw it away like literally drop it this um this one here hey what whoa what happened to the cooked chicken oh oh durability oh okay i just want to drop that then right goodbye so anything with a red i didn't realize that food goes off well there you go ultra realism so these here ildred these leather jerkins here can i just drop that because no one wants to use it it's there's no point wearing it because it's it's busted just get rid of it yeah considering i play on tychondrius only because of another friend i'm okay with pvp service says kitty uh but i have no option either way yeah true i just want to find out the server because i want to be prepared in advance yeah same here i want to know as well still trying to decide yeah i may make a billion alts as well yeah same here i've got an itchy nose sorry so try eating it no because it said it would um i dropped it already but uh it said that um it said that it would minus my energy by like 25 percent the armor might fix those i think i tried before and he, he he wouldn't repair them he said they were too damaged now where's my where's the star there it is where's where is that is it in okay so it looks like it's in this building yeah i love starting alts as well right talon what is this place i actually don't know what this place is a trader's tavern i think we're in the right quest tipster they're in here right i love the music seriously great music in this game too oh no i don't want to do that uh where's oh are you the quest tipster wait 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 come back alehouse maid no okay what am i missing here I, this is about the 50 billionth time that i've got my directions or like why is it, are they at the back of the building or are they beside the house oh, let's go have a look oh they could be upstairs oh wait it's you isn't it i bet you it's you good day to you what do you need is that what the quest tipster is do you think ildred Oh, it's alright, I knew what you meant. Um, we 
should name our guild Altaholics. Yeah, I like that. Silly characters are always welcome, definitely. I'd be surprised if at least one guild called that already. Yeah, probably. I used to be in a guild called Control Alt Elite. I thought that was quite cool. Ah, uh, coffee and a vape and payday. Nice one. Oh, I know those feelings. Not that I vape. And not that it's payday, but I know exactly what you mean when you just like, hey, all is well with the world right about now. I hope you relax, disaster piece. Enjoy the moment, buddy. That's why we work. That's why we work. Uh, maybe the tailor. Oh, I didn't know that. The different craftsmen are able to fix different types of gear. Makes total sense, Hildred. It's badly damaged. The tailor is better at fixing coats than the swordsmith. Gosh, thank you so much for all of this great advice by the way like I really appreciate it it's amazing I hear you like a game of dice oh shit I'm gonna lose my money aren't I right, well, we know about that oh god this is amazing oh god it's like Gwent or something uh what am I even doing? Total 2,000. I guess that's his total up the top. Oh, shit. Oh, God. It's a novel. It's possible to play a dice game called Farkle. The goal of this two-player game is to be the first to reach a certain number of points. Six dice are thrown. Players alternate turns. Points are gained for every one of the five thrown for three or more of a kind of any number. Okay. Player's turn always begins throwing all six. The player uses E to select and set aside scoring dice. At least one die must always be set aside. Oh god, sorry, I think I saw an alert come in there and I've got the wrong I've got the wrong thing on. I'm so sorry. Ildred, um I think I've missed a couple. Uh, I think I missed you, so I'm just going to re-trigger some. Provion, Provion. That is for you, that was for before. Thank you so much for that sub again, dude. I can't remember if your alert triggered. Uh, but I've had it on cutscene mode. That's how tired I am. I'm so sorry. Uh, Keyblade Nation, this is you. This is for the host. Uh, thank you so much for the host, dude. Really appreciate that. And then finally here, Ildred. Thank you so much for the 100 biddies. That is so kind of you. Look at that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I oh, really appreciate it. There we go. That's for you. You're welcome. Oh. Smiley face. Smiley face. You guys are the best. Here we are. Sorry I had them turned off. My bad. Right now, that's interesting. I thought that was money. So 5,000 in this example is the total target number of points you have to get. The points we've gained, subtotal. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing really. Yeah, that was a massive fail, Kitty. It was. Um, so uh, what are we doing? Uh, we Once we figure out on a server, I'll see if Altaholics is taken. Well, you know what? I think that having a bunch of alliance characters isn't going to help as much in a horde guild to be completely honest apart from the fact we can talk to each other but what would be better is being on a populated server so I say my vote is for um, my vote is for Moonguard if it counts what do you think Alicia what do you think uh, Kitty now speaking of votes let's go have a look um, and who won who won the vote did it stop Where's the chat bot? Did any of you guys see? Because I think 15 minutes is up, right? Or is it not up? You know, it's up. It's done. So who won the vote? I'm scrolling up here. Um, I'm trying to look for a Sambo NZ chat bot. Poll options. There we go. Okay. Uh, so chat bot is pink today. Winning option was Wow Horde. Okay, so we're playing WoW tomorrow, and we're playing Horde. Right, thank you, Kitty. Sorry, yep. Sorry, I scrolled up. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Alicia. All right. Moonguard is cool with me, says Kitty. Moonguard is fine, says Steph. Um, 
Yeah, play to win, I know, right? We'll see what happens. Well, Horde. Okay. Sold to the man with the dice. If someone could please start rolling characters on Moonguard and see if we can get an alt. A holic skill, that would be awesome. Congratulations, yay us. Okay, what do I use? Hold die E. Okay, so I move around. So what did it what were the rules again? Was it we have to get doubles? Uh is to be the first to register the number points again for every one or five thrown. Oh, one or five. Points again for every one or five for three or more of a kind of any other number. Okay. Alright, so uh so hold that that and that five we hold and five we hold and then score and roll again i guess oh that was good wasn't it that was good that'll do me Why didn't I score? Do we know a name yet? We could always revive Pink Yeti Army. We could. Since I'm already on WoW, I can make the guild for tonight. It, whatever you... Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, I'm going to use heirlooms. Yeah, that's cool, Steph. Yeah, this isn't a Project 60 guild. This is a... I want my pets and my toys. Hello. Uh, Moonguard it is indeed. Um, Ultaholics is what we're thinking. Yep, or has I, I mean I'm happy as long as we're playing together, right? Um, now ones and five, so I can hold. Am I doing this right? Because I didn't seem to score any points. So can I just score and roll again? I don't understand. If I hold them, surely I can score and roll again, right? I don't understand why I didn't get any points last time. Um, hold that. And then on a 1 or a 5. So score and roll again. Why did it go to 0? Tag the dice you want to hold. Yeah, I am doing that. But what, I, I won 1100 points then. And I didn't get them. Or is that me up the top? We'll see. That's me down the bottom, right? Wait. It's me. So how come I had eleven hundred points and they disappeared and I've got now zero? I'm for the chops. So do all agree with Ultra Holox? Yep, sure, definitely. Um, okay, so I'm holding that, that, and that, and that. Uh, I'll rank, make my Blood Elf Warlock on Moon Guard then. Yes, no! please do. Step, uh, I'll, I would transfer, but she's only level 5 and I really want to save. Oh, God, don't transfer. Jeepers. No, 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 no. Okay, so score and roll again, right? Is it because you can... Oh, I can move my camera. How do I move the camera? Coming. How, how do I... T. Uh... The key element of the game is that if a throw does not produce a single scoring dice, then it's often advisable to end your turn using Q. Oh, so oh, if I roll again and bust it, it blows back down to zero. A bust loses all points. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Alter, um, okay, uh, Alterholic's already taken. Alter... Altaholics. What about Altaholics Anonymous? Can we do Altaholics Anonymous? Do, 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 do. Um, because, you know, Alcoholics Anonymous. Because then we can be AA. Okay, let's try this again. So, I've held all of them. I'm going to score... Uh, and I get a one, and I want to 
What is it? A uh, Q. Is that what it said? Q. Does Q does Q end my turn? So I've got seven hundred. Right. So I've got to end it with Q. Okay. That's it. The other AA meetings, right? Just luck. Anyone getting network errors on Twitch? Chat's okay, but no picture or sound. No telling. Um, I'm monitoring it right now. It seems okay for me. If you try to uh, uh, close the browser window and refresh, I know that sounds trite, but it generally works. Uh, someone's never played strip dice, dice poker, right, Gilgamesh? Uh, I don't play such filthy games, no. Now, three of a kind... <laughs> is cool so that's them and one is okay and five is okay so I want to hold and roll this is cool I by the way I don't get Gwent like I, I just don't don't get it like it just seems too basic for me I haven't played it much maybe I'm maybe I need to play it some more all right oh it's actually close scoring isn't it good lord your turn. Altaholics Anonymous is already a guild. Um, another one thing you can do is use um, use a couple of alt characters. You know what I mean? So use uh, for the A, use alt 0225 or something like that. You could try that. Um, and you can also do Altaholics spelled L-I-C-K-S or L-I-X as well. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, one is held. That's held. Uh, okay, roll again. 200. Oh, I like this game. Oh, I see what you mean, moving the camera. Right, gotcha. Ah. Oh. Duh. Although I kind of like the first person view. <laughs> this will be the one. Oh, he's going to win, isn't he? The bastard. Hmm. He's won. Unless he busts. Finished. God damn it. Oh, you don't want any more. Um, that was fun. I really enjoyed that. Uh, is he the dude, though, that was that pick? Yeah, because he's moved now, right? Is that him? And who's this over here? Let's put a marker on him. Pink Yeti Altaholic's funny. Hey Seek, how's it going? Where am I going? Okay, near the end. Second house from the end. G'day. Oh, Cobbler. Oh, so they can repair our shoes, presumably. Sorry about the uh, glitching there. Presume this is the cobbler. Um, tipsters are usually innkeepers. Oh, right, gotcha. Thanks. Hello, cobbler. Good day to you. What do you need? About repairs. So, uh, how For much? For your gambling needs close the deal you don't have enough money I don't get what happened just then <laughs> um, all right I heard something loud and clear that time uh, Ildred has used a hundred bits for your gambling needs you crazy crazy Thank crazy you. person what are you doing man what are you doing I not complain I definitely no complain. Ildred, thank you so much for the further 100 bits. I really appreciate that. I really, really do. Um, you paid 22.6. Where's my money again? Why can't I see my money? Where's my money? Where's my money? Player? 
That's right, Gilgamesh. Illuminati confirmed. Uh, where is my money? Is it here? Am I being a dick? Uh, you seem to like Ultaholic's unit a lot. Do you want to try that one? Unite. Oh, oh Ultaholic's Unite. Yeah. I, I'm just, you know, throwing stuff out. It genuinely doesn't bother me, guys. Too many suggestions, not enough definitive answers. Yeah, poor thing. Um, now that we've got... Well, look, we can have a poll. Do you want me to make a poll? Nice and easy. Um, oh, no, I can't make a poll because I've got this one going. Even though it's finished. Damn it. No, we just have to decide. We just have to decide. Uh, but can someone tell me where my where my money is, please? Is it um, statistics? Uh, stats. Main level. Speech. Charisma speed. Energy health. Come on, where's my money? Um, a poll would be nice. Oh, okay, all right. That's cool. Everyone at least. Yep, sure. Money's are in the inventory screen. Yeah, that's where I am. Oh, is it down there? Is that total money? Right. Thank you. And far out. It costs 22 to, um, 22 to fix my shoes. Holy shit. I wonder if I can sell anything. Let's vote to have a poll. Okay, I'll set one up. Hang on. Um, okay, sell, sell, sell something that's not. Oh, they're all equipped. My God, everything I've got that she that she would want is equipped. Okay. Right. So second house. Damn. It's this house. Oh, oh. So it's a, you're right. It's a tavern, isn't it? Uh, the the star. I bet you it's a tavern. Yeah. I like how I can tell it's the second one. Okay, so it will be the tavern keep, which will be here, no doubt. Oh no, it's a lockpick. Wait, what's the time? No, it's only one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, how do you get into that tavern then? Hello. Hello, Equinox. How are you? How do you get into that tavern? Wait, is it? Is it? Oh, it's, oh, oh! He just walked past. It's you. Uh, right. Okay. That's God, the with you. Darkness, my old friend. In darkness. Does anyone near here need help? Oh. Okay. So I have to talk to the person with the star, and they give me right. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Could be. Bertold, our local gamekeeper, was looking for help with something a while back. Why don't you ask him if he still needs help? Bertold. I wonder if that becomes a quest. What am I to do? A poor wreck? It didn't. Um, yeah, hey, Alicia, thank you. Did you make a straw poll? Hang on, let me fix that for you. Um... So Kitty's permitted you. So have you done a straw poll? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I think I can see it there as well. I'll paste it in a few times for you. There we go. Uh, right, let me go. I'm going to go to that straw poll myself. Thank you for doing that, by the way, Alicia. Really, really appreciate it. Sorry, it's just I've got... Like, there's a massive poll in my bot already. It would be so painful to remove it. But I agree that we need one. <laughs> so, good option. What should our Horde Guild be called? Altaholics Anonymous, Pink Yeti Army, or the Pink Yeti Altaholics? Alright, I'm going to vote. Uh, there we go, got six votes already. Alright, I'll keep that open in the background. There we are. Run. So he said something about Bertrand or something? Who's, is that who it was? What is it? Shut up! Let me ask again. Do you know if there's anyone around? Hmm. Ah, oh, because he's already told me. Damn. 
bugger. Eight votes. Oh, 50% want Ultra Hot Looks Anonymous, 25 uh, PYA, and... Oh, this they're both PYA. I never thought of that. That's kind of funny. All right. We're nearly there. Come on. Come on, Sambo. We need to go over there to A. Oh, what's that? Another quest giver. No. No. Not getting distracted. Where's A? Over there. <laughs> Fast travel point. Awesome. Man, look at the countryside. Wow. That looks super cool. God, the lighting in this game is just outstanding. Look at the forest. God, how long would it have taken to create all this? Seriously. Come on, load in. Did you know that there are werewolves in this game? What? Hey, alcoholic dogs. Werewolves in this game? Thank you, Alicia. I do appreciate it very much. Uh, Anonymous will change to Unite if that is selected. At least you want me to try all codes. What? You missed a treasure chest, Sambo. It's near the house to the right. Really? Is a treasure chest? You mean back in the back in the castle area through here? Is that what you mean? What's that? Conciliation cross. What's this? Conciliation crosses, or merely stones with the cross engraved on the uh, surface, were erected in places where tragic events. Oh. Only on full moons in forests. I think you guys are pulling my pudding. See you, Steph. Thank you so much. Uh, it's near the house to the right, Gilgamesh. So you're talking about back in here, though, right? God, I wish I had a horse. Give me a horse. Here and in a house to the right. I wouldn't beg, good neighbours. But I'm reduced to this. I'm from Scarlet's and... Well, you know. Near, not in. A chest. Um, did how did you know there's a chest there? Was it on the map? Is, did you see something on the map or um? Are you trolling me? Are you trolling me? Look at the detail there. It's amazing. Um, like map. Treasure chests don't appear on the map or something silly, do they? I don't know. I'm going to carry on with my quest. <laughs> it's taken us um, two hours. We've nearly been streaming for me to get to my quest. Let's do it. And then I've got to go to bed too. You ratbag Gilgamesh. Minus 100 DKP. Minus 100 DKP. More dots. You shocker. I shall remember that. <laughs> Oh, let's pick some flowers while we're here. Poppies, eh? <laughs> no, that's good. Good troll. I'll take that one. I'll take it. Bit of a wash before we do that. Um, I'll give the poll a few more minutes. Vote here. Okay, let me go there. Is that a new? Is that a different one than before? It is. Okay. Right, new poll. Uh, vote. I thought you said one was meant to be unite. Go to results. Oh, oh it's the same one. Okay, so, so far it's Alterholics Anonymous that are winning, yeah? I know, right? I know disaster, right? Hello, Captain. I said, Captain. I said, what? No Good worries, Alicia. You. Good day to you. Um, can I ask first? Can I ask? Um, yeah. Perikstein is a fine castle. 
It'll be even finer once you all clear out. I can I'm move back. Try to be nice, you jerk. Do you know who those soldiers of Sigurd? They call them Cumans or Kipchaks. Our lord says they fled from the Mongols to Hungary and settled there. They're herdsmen and excellent horsemen, and barbarians too, for all that they claim they've turned to Christ. What do you think of your boss? What do you think of Sir Radzig? I hear he's on good terms with the king, probably why Sir Hanush opened the door to him. Sir Radzig seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. Ha <laughs> ha, Alicia. <that's> <laughs> yeah, burn. Sick burn, right, Eldred? That's all I wanted to know. Uh, basic training. I'm here for training. Yes, hello. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzig said. Uh, yeah, I'm humble. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzig wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Yeah, very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. Hmm. Knighthood training. Oh, that was a... Right, Gilgamesh. I know, I, I got you. I accept it was too late for me a long time ago. Back when it said I maxed on characters and had to delete. So I got that message as well and well years ago. Shocker, eh? Okay, combat. You are locked onto your opponent. Uh, you can move around and... Wait, we've already seen all this, haven't we? Although I didn't know you could unlock with shift. Right, good. Didn't I just learn that? No use waving a sword around like you saw. Go to attack with your whole body. Why won't it attack? Ah. Uh. I don't know what's happening. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. I'm... Yeah. Oh, there we go. Right, it's just waiting, I guess. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so you can aim these at the face. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Uh, you can chain your strikes together, start a new attack. Yeah, I've seen this before. Okay. Damn it. Let's go! Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Oh, I didn't even know that. I thought you just had to use Q. Wait. Hold Q to block. You'll automatically parry your opponent's strikes at the cost of stamina. When you don't have enough stamina, you'll get hit. While blocking, your stamina regeneration is slower. Okay. No! Very good. Uh. Very so I didn't know you had to use a direction with block, you know what I mean? All I was right. just hitting Q. 
before. So that Very I've well, something. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Oh, shit. Ow. See, I lure you, then attack. Oh, God, I can't block him. Fatality. Yep, it is fatality. Oh, I've reached a new ability, a new Ow. level in agility. Christ. Fine enough. You're not a complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Not bad. Not bad. Not uh well uh, nice right lesson two everything you've learned about blocking is wrong when i cover i can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us but it's better not to control just the space but actually your opponent's weapon attack and i'll show you gosh all right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. To fully deflect the attack, you need to time your block into the enemy strike. Press Q as soon as the attack starts, and you'll get an adrenaline boost with a chance of a counter strike. Such a perfect block costs you no stamina. Oh God. Oh, have you guys created the guild already? Really? Guild has been created. We shall now be known as Altaholics United. Well, that is pretty epic if you ask me. Thank you very much, Kitty. I appreciate that. No, that's not it. No, not like that. You mustn't hold the sword there. You have to build it on to the attack. Again. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Try and catch the rhythm. You see the sword move, you move at the same time and deflect it. Ow. Well done. I think I'm just. He's just saying. Not bad. Uh, hit Q, you know, up or to the side or whatever. Not like that! Or not. No, again. Good. Good. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Oh. Is that right? Oh. That's it. I don't know what I did any different, to be honest. Damn, ah. son. Not like that. <laughs> nice. Uh. Wrong. Again. How is that wrong. Nice. 
face. <clears throat> Very good. <laughs> good. Wait for good. the green shield to now pop in your target full thing. Speed. Gotcha. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. <clears throat> oh God! Yes, quick. <sighs> Ow. Ow. Uh. Shit. Captain Bernard. Uh. Wait a while, Henry. Man, that's hard when it's at full speed. Your greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. You... you ass. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. Or simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. What is it? All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. If the same will happen if you move too late. Okay. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Uh huh. Very good. Ah. Good. Man, it's complex combat, isn't it? It's really cool. Rage quit. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Nice. Well done. Oh, I'm good at this bit. Ow. Ow. Spoke too soon. Very good. And the last thing for today, a trick. You yeah. raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike. So I don't have time to react. All right. Prepare the attack by holding. Oh, I didn't know you could hold it and then release. Ugh. Nice. Ugh. All right. Ugh. All right. <laughs> Woo! This isn't fail. This is good. I'm doing well. I didn't know you could. Ho oh, I see what you mean. What yeah, I didn't know you held it. Visitation by the Holy Ugh. Spirit. Bad. That's what I was doing wrong before. Yeah, I didn't realize you hold down to pull back. That's awesome. Well, now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Aye, aye. Well, I'm kind of pleased don't with myself. Yet. Sir Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. From now on, you can come to the arena anytime and challenge the master to a training deal duel. I've uh, I've seen someone do archery on stream, and it looks ridiculously difficult. <laughs> Now, is this a quest? So, in other words, can I go and save the game? The shooting range. I guess I was going to log out now, but I guess we could do archery and then uh, save the game. Where even is the shooting range?
I can't remember what key is uh, walk either. <laughs> it would be nice if you ran. I suppose it could speed up time. I don't know. We'll roll with it. Oh, we discovered an archery. Ah, oh, it's there. Well, well. Game saved. That said game saved then. Undertake archery training. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go in standard position over there, and we can start. And another thing. Put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Aye, Thank aye. you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. Draw your bow using two. Hold left mouse button to load the arrow. Release it to shoot. Watch your stamina. You can abort shooting and save your arrow with the right. Okay. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw yeah, good call. Cool. Aim mm. and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. Well, you talk and a release lot. the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. Oh my you god. Have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one. And then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. <laughs> Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't Shut see them Shut up! Anymore. Oh my god, even I'm like, I like the immersion in this game, but that was just unnecessary. Shut up! Yeah, far out. Um, I'll try caps log, but I'm stuck in this position at the moment, uh, Eldred. Okay, here we go. Um. Where are you shooting, you dolt? Shoot in your face if you don't shut the fuck up. Dick. Oh, it's hard to aim. That flew nicely. Practice for a while. No nonsense. Yeah, no nonsense, dickhead. Nice pants. Idiot. Yep, Moonguard Horde. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Savannah. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. You're in. What did you say? <laughs> Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. Uh -oh. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. Oh, God. This is going to be bad. Um, no idea where the guild... Ma you don't need to know where the guild master is, though. Does us. You just need to find one of the guild members. The rules of the game are simple. You short shoot seven arrows. The bullseye is worth three points. Second ring two, outside ring one. Best not delay though. First to finish shooting gets an extra three points. Shit. I'm so screwed here. Oh, we got a, we got a, 
Oh, no we haven't. I thought we got a thing. An Amy thing, but we don't. What do you call it? A rectacle. Oh, it's freaking hard to shoot. My god. He's got nine. Jesus. Come on, that was a bullseye. Oh dear. <laughs> this is so hard. But it's cool, like you really feel like you're shooting a Oh, I've got a bullseye. Congratulations, Sir Hart. Nicely shot. Thank you, Bernard. It seems I get to keep the bow. So, blacksmith, do you know your place now, or do you need more reminding? Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hans has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. He can just tell you I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Hmm. Do I have to do that again? Whoa, what's going on? Oh. No more food. Ah. 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 Take that. Take that. Yeah, but. Bloody hell, it was tense. He yeah, stabbed me in the face, then. right? It looks like I get to keep my bow and you your groschen. I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge. Despite Even? your limitations. Oh, right. Thank you. Sir. So. Godspeed, Blacksmith. And don't worry, this isn't the last time we'll meet. We'll have more fun like this again soon. Well, at least he wasn't a total douchebag about it in the end, I suppose. Uh, speak with... My training must be nearing an end. I must speak with the captain about it. Sure. Epic. Yeah, I'm kind of happy about my progress here. What a beautiful day it is, though. Look at this game. It's so gorgeous out there. I just want to go romping through the fields, right? Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Adzig's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen too. Now go to the Rathaus. House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. All right, report to the bailiff, huh? I'm guessing that's that A on there. I'm gonna go and find a bed to sleep in and save the game. Uh, what's that? Oh, so they teleported us out there. I wonder where the hell am I? Um, there, right. Where's my bed? There's a bed there. Now, wasn't there a bed outside here somewhere that I found? Wasn't there? Remember I slept in the middle of the... Middle of the road. Uh, 
grindstone. Great soundtrack for picking flowers, of course, Ildred. Thank you for that. It was epic picking, right? Um, do you remember where... Oh, I guess it's not a bed, so it didn't doesn't show up. Is there an actual bed bed I can sleep in in the castle? Or can I, can I pick any old bed? Like, is there one around here? I still don't get how the rules of that work, you know, like... Can I just sleep in anyone's bed, basically? Hey. Right. Oh. You have no business here. Maybe Clear that's... off. Do you need some help? Well, you changed your tune quick. My respects to you. Thank you. Give me a bed, jerk. You're trespassing shit. What it Okay. That's why. <laughs> so I guess if he wasn't there to see me, it would be cool, I'm guessing. Wait, are there beds around here? Can you not sleep in these? Ah, sleep and save. Hell yeah. No? There we go. Oh, I slept on the mattress of a refugee. Did I kick them out of their bed? <laughs> um, we'll sleep till dinner time and then uh, save and quit. Because... Sambo needs to go to bed in real life as well. It is now 3 uh, 3.26 a.m. I think we've been streaming for two and a half hours. Uh, it's been super fun though. I've really enjoyed our chill stream tonight. I like it because uh, we can just take it easy. Uh, we don't have to focus on the game so much. Just real chill. We've got multiple conversations going on. Uh, the Horde Guild has been created. Chill streams are awesome. Love them, love them. Um, but I still love the fact that you guys are here. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but it's just nice. There's no pressure, you know. We can do whatever the hell we want. Super fun. So that now is... What does that mean? Deal with fire? What does that mean? Don't know what that means. But anyway, that's saved, right? So if I go load, it should be one at 3.26 a.m. There we go. Done. Oh, I'm super happy about that. Um save and quit yes oh wait that's actually going to kill the game isn't it oh silly me whoops <laughs> well i'll just go to the uh thanks for watching screen so you've got at least something to watch uh, while we log off um dum -da 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 -da. and we can get some music happening don't worry let's get the old beer and woman soundtrack because i love that that's so cool this music there we are that's a bit better all right uh, Good night, Sambo and KCD is a great game for chill. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Thank you so much for your help, by the way. I really, really appreciate that. You um, answered a whole bunch of questions for me, so thank you so much. Um, thank you very much to Kitty and Alicia and Steph and Doc and everyone who was responsible for creating the guild. Um, I'll hop along and say good day as well. I'll create myself a hoardy character tomorrow on Moonguard, right? I think it was Horde on Moonguard. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to write something about that, um, see Sambo, I'll be working on the guild. Thank you, thank you. My pleasure, Alicia. Thank you. Yeah, if you can um, do all the guild stuff, that would be awesome. All the permissions and ranks and all that sort of stuff. I reckon we make it a fun one. It's Horde. We can go crazy uh, and have some stupid names for ranks and all that sort of thing. Um, so I reckon make it super fun. We, we're not... We're, we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance for Immersion. We're not playing a Horde Moonguard WoW Guild for Immersion. We're, we're going to have some fun on that one. Uh, and I feel free to pop all the information in Discord, by the way, so other people can come along and join us as well. Put a notice in there to say, hey, go make a Horde character on Moonguard and then let them know the guild name and all that sort of stuff. In the meantime, I'm falling asleep. I need to get going. Guys, a massive, huge thank you so so much for all of the support tonight we had Ildris there with the bits 
Uh, we've got Starlix. If you're watching this on VOD, buddy, thank you, mate. And it was nice of you to come in after your night out drinking. Alicia, thank you for the bits as well. Really appreciate that. And, of course, Steph as well, uh, showing her biddies there. Thank you so much, guys. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, like I say, that allowed me to have a nice dinner this evening too. And do you know what I'm going to do with your bits for tomorrow? I'm going to buy myself some fish and chips for dinner. Saturday night, fish and chips at home in front of a movie. Oh, yeah. That's going to be my happy place. So thank you for uh, allowing that to happen. In the meantime, I'm falling asleep. I need to get out of here. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Have fun in the guild. Can't wait to come along and join it tomorrow. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks again. Take care and good night.